Hello and welcome to Sport Dot's annual AFL Guernsey's Yeah or Nah video. If you haven't watched our previous videos, the way this works is I'll be discussing every team's Guernsey's for the 2018 season and we'll rate them as a yeah if I like the strip or a nah if the jumper is not up to scratch. We'll kick it off with the Adelaide Crows who this year have an all yellow collar after last year's half yellow half blue collar. It's a much cleaner collar and makes the top look cleaner and it also resembles the, the jumpers that they wore in their early years. I'm giving it a year. Also, it's good to note that they removed their all yellow class jersey and will now just be wearing the all white class jersey. And I also rate that as a year. Now on to Brisbane. Brisbane Lions have probably my favourite design jumper, but they remain with Majestic Sports and I don't think Majestic Sports have done a good job with this jumper. I'm not really a fan of the watermarks on the Guernseys, and I feel that Majestic's watermarks seem to stand out too much on the Brisbane Guernsey. That being said, I do like their away strip, which depicts their first ever Brisbane Bears top, and I also like their, their strip that they wear in Melbourne, the Fitzroy colours. And in saying that, I do feel that the numbers are too low on the back of this top, and they should be starting where the blue ends, on the back, but they start a bit too low, and I don't really fancy that as well. So I'm giving it a nah, not because of the design of the top, but because Majestic have made it. Now on to the much publicised Carlton Guernsey for 2018. Carlton have always been known for their navy blue and white, yet this year they are the navy blue and grey. That's right, Carlton have changed their colours for 2018. Their away jumper is an all grey, well they like to call it silver, but it's grey strip. I'm not too fussed with that because as a, as a class jumper, you can change your colours. You don't have to wear the opposite of your home top. So they don't have to wear white. We see that in EPL. Teams always change their class strips. But for them to wear grey shorts with their home jumper is an insult to the fans. And with those blue patches on the bum, it just does not look right. It does not look like Carlton. Also, their new jumper has a 3D effect on the CFC. And if you look at it closely, the bottom part of that 3D effect, so there's a point on the CFC, the bottom part of it is also grey. So they've added the grey to their CFC as well. If I was a Carlton fan, I would not be happy with this. And I feel that this was a nice decision because they we have seen them change stuff previously. We've seen it in soccer as well, but in... In, with Carlton's tops, they have changed it around previously like they did have those navy blue patches on their bum years prior. I'm giving it a definite nah. Collingwood start their second season with ISC and we've seen a few improvements with the jumper this season. They've got a new collar which means the middle stripe is a bit higher up so you get more white on the front of the top and I'm giving that a yeah. Now their away strip is the all white with black stripes. They've got the little pinstripe next to the stripes, like what they used to wear in the 70s and 80s. But it, that's a good idea to have that. I like that, but I don't like the really thick black stripe on the side of the jumper. It doesn't look like it fits with the rest of the Guernsey, and I'm giving it a nah. Last year, Essendon switched from Adidas to ISC, and we saw a change in their sash. They reverted back to the normal sash instead of the sash that was almost a stripe under Adidas. But this year's sash is a lot thicker to the one that they wore last season and it looks much better because last season was a really, really thin sash. This one's thicker and there's more red on the top. I'm giving it a yeah. Their clash strip is all red like last season, but there's a fade of black next to the sash. Now, we know that they don't want to wear a black sash because in their history, they've always worn red sashes. So they want to stick to tradition. And I appreciate that. And I like how they've got that fade next to the sash now. Last year, it was just a black outline on the red sash. This year, it's more of a fade. Gives it a 3D feel. I think it looks really good. I also really, really rate their training jumpers, which have like a misty red sash on them. And I think if I was an Essendon fan, I'd be buying those training jumpers because they look awesome. So I'm giving both a yeah. On to Fremantle. They're stuck with their all purple with the white V home kit and all white with the purple v away strip i'm sick of that design i would like to see them incorporate those colors that they used to wear the, the green the red i wouldn't they had colors but they just didn't know how to use them properly and i would like to see them 
try with those colours again. I'm giving both their home and away strip a nah, but we'll discuss their commemorative Guernsey that they wore for their first ever game at Optus Stadium. If you look closely, they had the stadium on their Guernsey and the V where it was like sort of like lights flashing off the stadium. Close up, it's a decent design. I don't know if I would wear it if I was a free man or I don't think unveiling a new stadium is worthy of wearing a special commemorative Guernsey. But I'm giving it a nah because from a distance, you really couldn't tell what the design was. Geelong's cotton on Guernsey is almost identical to the one that they wore last season. The only difference being that Ford now is spout out on the back of the Guernsey instead of having the blue oval logo. It's a nice clean strip. As always, they wear their white shorts when they're playing away from their home venue at Cadenia Park. Even when they're playing home games at the MCG, they wear white shorts. Their away top is the reversal of the home strip now. So it's all blue with the white hoops. I'm giving both a year. But let's just discuss their pre-season Guernsey, which is again the t-shirt design. I don't want to see t-shirt designs in the AFL. I didn't like them in the NBA. And now that the NBA clubs are with Nike, they've removed those t-shirt designs. I would like to see the AFL ban the t-shirt designs as well because I don't want to see a future where AFL players are wearing a t-shirt design Guernsey. Gold Coast continue with their McDonald's-inspired home kit. But what's different, if you look closely, they've logo has changed. Last season they had GC and there was sunlight beaming off the letters. This year it's a more clear just GC standard design and I think that's an improvement but I still don't rate this Guernsey. I think if the the Gold Coast Suns want to be taken serious they've got to change their home jumper. I'm giving it an R. I've always rated the GWS jumper and this season is almost identical to the one that they wore last season and I'm giving that a year. Hawthorne's jumper is same as last season. I like how they got their collar. The front part is brown and on the back it's gold so it looks good on the jumper. Last season I mentioned that I really liked what they've done, what Adidas have done with their home jumper because prior to that they used to have little points at the end of their stripes on the two outer stripes and the, the stripes would start much lower on the Guernsey. Now they start higher up. It's a darker shade of gold. And it looks really good with the brown. I'm giving it a yeah. My pet hate has always been sponsorships that cut into the design of jumpers. And unfortunately for Melbourne, their new sponsor, Zurich, has a blue patch that cuts inside their red V. I really hate when that happens. Their away strip this year is commemorative of the ones that they wore in the 70s and 80s, so it's the the lighter blue. I don't mind the royal blue, I think it looks really nice. I'm not sure how that can be a clash strip when they're gonna come up against Western Bulldogs because they're they're basically gonna wear the same blue. So I don't know how it's gonna be a clash strip, but I'm giving it a year. North Melbourne, please return back to your traditional home kit. I want to see you back in the all white with blue stripes. That is what you are. Don't try to change your top. I do not like the all blue with white stripe Guernsey. Let's go back to your traditional top with the black number. Their class strip this year is a mixture of their heritage V at the front and their traditional stripes at the back. But if they want to stick to tradition, they should be wearing a black number. Instead, they're wearing a blue number. If they are going to have a class strip for this all blue home strip, I would like them to stick to their actual traditional all white with the blue stripes. But in saying that, they do their class strip this season is okay. I'll give it a year. It's not a loud year. It's a soft year. But their home strip's a definite nah. Before we discuss Port Adelaide's home and away strip this season, let's just go back to what they wore in the season. Everyone complained about Carlton wearing grey, yet Port Adelaide wore grey. And it looked atrocious. Especially when they were playing in the AFL X, and they were one of the only clubs that used the silver ball. So you couldn't tell the difference between their Guernsey and the silver ball. Now their home and away tops this season are exactly the same as the ones that they wore last season. I really don't like the Port Adelaide tops. I've designed my own Port Adelaide top which sticks to the tradition of the Port Adelaide Magpies. And you can see that on the Sport.website. So for me, all of Port Adelaide strips are a nah. Richmond, the yellow and black. Last season, I might have mentioned that the vibrant yellow would win Richmond the Premiership. And guess what it did? Because they wore the vibrant yellow with black sash on Grand Final Day. This season's top is identical to last. 
except for the gold inside the AFL logo for winning the premiership, and they've got watermarks on their jumpers. Now, as I mentioned with Brisbane, I'm not a fan of watermarks. And I'm not a fan of the Richmond watermark, but the difference between the Richmond and Brisbane watermarks is that the Richmond ones don't stand out as much. I love the Guernsey. I love what Puma has done with the home one. I'm giving it a year. Their class strip is similar to the one last season. The only difference being that they now have black on their sleeves instead of all yellow. It looks good. It's exactly what they wear in the VFL. Maybe they could have stuck with what they wore last season. I do probably prefer the yellow on the sleeve instead of the black. Let's just mention their training tops. They have this unusual training design that I've never seen before. It's almost similar to what they wear in the NFL. So they've got numbers at the front of their tops and at the back. It's like the NFL strip. That's basically what they're wearing. And if I was a Richmond fan, I would definitely be buying one of those. Last season, St Kilda reverted back to their traditional white collar and sleeves because prior to that, they were starting to wear all black on their sleeves and collar, and they did start to clash with other teams like Fremantle, Port Adelaide, Carlton. They look much better with the white on the sleeves and the collar. They have that again. This season, if you notice, their white, in the, their white panel in the middle of the Guernsey is a bit thicker to what it was last season. I'm giving it a year. They always make great away tops, St Kilda, in their history. They're probably the number one for having away strips. And this season's is similar to last, except they instead of a black collar and black sleeves, they have a white collar and white sleeves. I'm also giving that a year. Sydney have the same home and away Guernseys. I'm giving that a year. But this year, they celebrate 100 years since the 1918 flag. And what I would love to see is them wearing their red sash on a white jumper. That's what they wore in 1918. And I would love to see them wear that as a commemorative jumper. And if they do, I'll give it a double year. The West Coast Eagle fans have had their say and the club will now wear their traditional blue Guernseys with gold wings at home and their gold Guernsey with blue wings away. Last year they were with Puma, now they're with ISC. If you ever look closely, their wings now are a bit bigger and they go all the way to the back, the back sponsor. So on the home top, they have Hungry Jacks as their back sponsor and that's in between the two wings. They also got a new logo, which I think is incredible. Times are changing for the West Coast Eagles. They have the new stadium, they've got the new logo. They're reverting back to their traditional design Guernseys. I'm giving it a year. The Western Bulldogs have stuck with the same home top as last season. The only exception being they now have red inside the AFL logo instead of gold. Their away top reverts back to the white inverse jumper of the home top. So it's all white with the red and blue hoops. I'm giving it a year. Thank you for watching our AFL Guernsey's Year or Nah video. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Sport.0 on Facebook and at Sport.0 on Twitter.